This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So I think memories are a bit of a strange thing. I moved house just over a year ago and uh, this guitar has actually been in storage at my parents' place for about a year, uh, sat in a shipping container, getting slightly rusty. So this is the first time I played it in a year. I tuned it up and just recorded that. That was the first take of all of this stuff. Um, and I'm thinking it's better than I remember it. So the story of this guitar is, I don't know if you remember on this channel, but for a while I was playing like a white Telecaster. I've done videos on it more recently, and it's kind of this sort of finish where it's swamp ash, and then it's grain filled black with Jekko fill, I think it's called grain filler essentially anyway, and then like a sort of uh, Danish oil finish mixed with some kind of white pigment. Um, putting the pig into pigment. Anyway, so um, this is Stratocaster body. I think the body came from Guitar Build, which is a, a site in the UK. The neck came from Warmoth, actually. So they used to run regular-ish sales. So this is like a traditional 21 fret, obviously Fender licensed um, neck. The things that are unusual about it, it's got clay uh, dots and also it's got stainless steel frets which was a thing that I really liked at the time I actually had to finish it with uh, nitro myself I've done what has to be said is a horrible job to be fair but even so the guitar I think has come out sounding quite good today for some reason the pickups are Fender Custom Shop 69s I can't remember if they're Abbey initialed or not I don't, they certainly weren't uh, wired by Abby. I think it's more the case that she 
sign them off or supervise them or something. Um, I don't think they're like proper abbeys. Maybe I'll try and unscrew them and get them out. The trem is a fairly cheap part. I think this might be something that I consider upgrading. So if you want to look at the, look at the back of it, um, so I actually redid the top because it kind of, the pigment came out. Um, but yeah, it's ended up being better than I remembered it. I think it weighs about seven pounds and eight or nine. Um, but it doesn't sound too bad and doesn't play too bad. I might change the strings on it because these are actually rusty. I kind of cleaned them off with a pair of boxes before playing it. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. How do you think it looks? How do you think it sounds? Um, I think these would be slightly lower output, certainly on the bridge than my Lola Dirty Blondes or K-Line um, variants. I think that would be the case, but I could be wrong. It seems to me to have quite a lot of sort of twang to it. I think the stainless steel frets may make some difference to that. But as I say, I guess the weak point would be the trem. And I generally like to use the Wilkinson uh, trems that K-Line also use. Um, so I might upgrade it to that. I don't know, is this something you think I should be playing more of? Um, given that it just came out of a shipping container now, I built this in 2016, by the way, when I was young and hopeful. Um, oh, that's the thing, the, the neck is unusual because it's quite an aggressive kind of boat neck. I don't know when Fender actually sort of started making guitars like this, if they even really did use the boat neck. I'll do some research on that and you can leave some thoughts in the comments if you know. Um, but it's like a really aggressive V at the bottom and it kind of starts to round out a bit. But it is definitely more pronounced than any other V-neck that I've tried. And I think they call that the boat neck. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the story of this guitar. I haven't played it for a year. And now I'm quite glad that on a whim I decided to go around to mum and dad's and sort of pick it up and see what it's about. Because it's definitely better than I remember and certainly fun to play. Uh, I really do like the feel of stainless frets under my fingers. The Rev style that I've got has stainless frets as well. If you haven't tried stainless frets, um, they've got kind of a very smooth feel, sort of like polished nickel frets, I guess, but it's like that kind of for much longer. So yeah, a, a, a guitar I made from, from parts. Um, turned out okay better than I remembered it as I say memory's a funny thing let me know your thoughts in the comments and that backing track I'll put up on Patreon for you because I think it was a fun one um, thanks for stopping by sorry today hasn't been a very good day a little bit worried about my dad but um, you should be all right get on with it Tim cheers for now I'll catch you in another video